All right, welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name's Elliot, and you're watching Rickety Ski Reviews. Today, we're talking about shred goggles. Now, shred, I have kind of a history with. I actually bought like the first pair that ever came out. I was a camper at Ted Ligeti Ski Camp, and I bought the first ever, I think they're called the Nastify, the bright pink ones, out of the back of his friend's SUV. So. I loved shred goggles. I was a big fan of them back in the day. That was like, you know, what I'd asked for as like a big birthday or Christmas present was a pair of shred goggles. So, you know, I like them. In fact, I still have two or three pairs just kicking around as like old goggles in case of an emergency. You know how you keep stuff in the back of your bag in case something breaks? I always keep a pair of these like old shred Nastify. These I think are like the second or third generation that ever came out. We'll talk more about that. I'm gonna give you my opinion on shred goggles. So to start, my opinion on shred goggles has kind of changed over the years. Back in the day, this was like the best goggle you could buy. There weren't very many colors out there. You had like the Uvex silver and orange or the Uvex blue and orange, and that was it. <laughs> Especially in the ski racing world, things were very bland. And when Ted Ligeti came around to end of the 2000s with these bright goggles, these were like the best thing you could buy. They had great ventilation in the top, at least the later models did. The early versions weren't very good at that. But they also had really good lens mirroring and very bright flashy colors. They also were some of the first ones that had this kind of rubber on the inside so they held your helmet well. They looked cool, felt great, and had great, great lenses. So. I recommended these to like everyone within earshot of me. I just thought these were the bee's knees back in 2008. And all the way into like 2012. This was kind of the best goggle in my opinion that you could go out and buy. Oakley had the O-frame and a couple other ones that were pretty good, but they weren't kind of as dominant as they are now, at least in my opinion. Let's put on the goggles. My opinion on Shred now is not so hot. Over the years, their quality seems to have gone down a bit, at least from what I've kind of gleaned um, from trying things on and like some of the goggles I own later on wouldn't last as kind of earlier generations. Then they started making them in China rather than Italy. On top of that, when Shred released helmets, I had one of their bike helmets and it was not good. I had also the ski helmet and it was one, the, it was, Hands down the worst ski helmet I had ever owned at the time. And then they were on Consumer Reports. The bike helmets had one of the worst safety ratings of any helmet that Consumer Reports tested. This would have been like 2018. So in my opinion, the quality just is not where it used to be at. And certainly if you look at like the colors and the style, it's really like unimpressive. They have so many different colors and none of them are just as iconic as they used to be. So in my opinion, the brand is kind of gone downhill from what I look for out of goggles, which is high quality and just cool looks. But I, again, I haven't bought Shred goggles in like a solid five to 10 years. So who knows, maybe they've changed in recent years. I haven't had them recently, but I've just kind of had the goggles, was really unimpressed, had the helmet, was really unimpressed, saw the consumer reports, and that was enough for me to say, you know what, I don't need to I don't need to keep spending money on this. Since then, I moved over to the POC helmet and the POC goggles. I'm not sponsored by them. They just have had a good track record of high quality safety products and then it's easy to order the goggles because then you know you won't get a gap whereas some of the shred goggles with different helmets would give you a gap just depending so that's why i moved not because i have any ill will towards shred i just saw a few things that made me say hey i've got very limited funds to spend on skiing and i don't want to waste it but who knows maybe they've changed we're gonna find out today all right so let's see uh there's not a lot of videos about shred goggles which is super weird because i kind of thought they were top dog for a while um, let's check out Adventure Rig. 13,000 subscribers, 800 views. Three comments? One is Shred. Okay, I reached out. Okay, God. <laughs> okay, I reached out to Shred. I reached out to Glade. I reached out to all these goggle brands because I'm putting together a, like, goggle comparison. Whether or not that's going to come to fruition, we'll see. Shred said, Oh, well you can apply for a discount if you become one of our athletes. And I was like, I don't want to become your athlete. I just want to review your goggles. I'll send them back to you. I don't I don't need goggles. No, 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 no. You have to go through this thing. But you're sending this person <laughs> a goggle with 800 views and commenting on it? Come on, Shred. My boy. Come on, Shred. 
work with me here, okay? I wanna review your stuff, but you know what? All I've got is your stuff from like 2010, okay? <laughs> so, I'm trying to do something with you guys. I wanna review your stuff, and I just find you sent this to the adventure rig, but you wanna see somebody crazy, the people. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's see what they had to say about the Shred Goggles. I'm Callie with Adventure Rig, and is there anything more exciting than pulling out a fresh pair of goggles to go skiing in? I don't think so. This year, Tyson and I had the opportunity to try out some goggles from Shred, and we've been really impressed to say the least. What? There's a million other things more exciting. Are you kidding me? The feeling of sliding on a new jacket, putting on some brand new skis that are freshly waxed. Dude, like, I, I like goggles. It's like, I really care about it, but I got new goggles this year and I kind of forgot about them. <laughs> I like left them in my bag the first week. It's kind of cool, but okay. Anyway, let's let her cook. All right, we'll give her a minute. These are the Simplify Plus, and if you're interested in purchasing your own pair of shred goggles, see the link below. Honestly, probably the most important part about any pair of goggles well, I guess there's two things, but the first thing for me is how high quality the lenses are, how well you can see, especially in flat light conditions like we're having today. Shred has their proprietary contrast boosting lens or CBL, and that really helps to pull out the contrast in the contour of the snow, especially on flat light days, and that is key. Out here in Colorado- Every goggle does that or claims they do it. This feels like someone reading off of a slide. It's their proprietary. I watched another video where they said the same stuff. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay, tell me how it compares to another goggle. Like this, it, this just feels like advertising. Come on, Shred. Oh God. This is like a brand I like and like have some history with that I wanna like, but this stuff makes me crazy. Six likes, <laughs> three comments, one of which is Shred. Ugh. I don't have any problem with this person. This just, this feels a little too like early Instagram influencer like, hey, check out this product. Anyway, okay, whatever, whatever, I'm being judgmental. So we have a lot of sunny days, but when you're riding on those flat light days, you really wanna amplify your experience as much as you can, and having a high quality pair of goggles with high quality lenses in them. Oh, God, come on, come on, God. Okay, you know what? Just gonna put these down so I can focus for a minute. Okay, you know what? My wife says that I'm dramatic, okay? and I don't know what she's talking about, but this is making me crazy. Everybody wants the good lenses for the sunlight. Okay, I can get behind that. But they also want the lens to have good contrast in the flat light. Yeah, everybody wants that, but you know what? Actually, can I be honest with you, 100% real? Uh, you, you know, you can hold this against me if I ever have a goggle sponsor later, but, which I'm not planning on doing, but, okay. <laughs> It's like skis. You can have a ski that is really good in the crud, you can have a ski that's really good in the powder, you can have a ski that's really good in carving. You might get to pick two out of that three, but there is no ski that does all three of those. Goggles are the same way. Have you ever, I have a pair of the Pac Pros, which are supposed to be like the light difference where it has the blue and the red and you can kind of see both. It doesn't work when the light's really flat. When the light is really flat, you can't see crap. So you have two options. You can get heavily mirrored goggles that are gonna protect your eyes when it's sunny, and then you can get a second set of lenses, or you can just get a flat light goggle and have that be like your dedicated night skiing goggle or flat light goggle. You don't get both. There's no magic that lets you see it. I've seen ad after ad of Ted Ligeti saying, shred goggles finally eliminated flat light. No, you didn't. <laughs> it might be better than before, but you're never gonna eliminate that flat light. It's a lack of light, and the more filters you have stopping that, the harder it is to see. I get that there are some technologies out there that make it better, I personally drive with Oakley prisms, but guess what? When the light gets low enough, I still can't see crap and I gotta take them off. So this, oh God, this is like, you know how people advertise the Atomic Bent as like being a do-it-all ski? This is the same crap. There is no goggle that is completely good all of the time. It just doesn't exist. I have the Puck Pro, which is like the closest I've seen, but there's an, it still doesn't do it. When it's really flat, you know what you do? Stick near the trees where you can see some contrast, where you get depth perception, or have a dedicated pair of goggles. Like that's what Zach does when he's skiing with me. 
Ugh. Okay, sorry. That was a huge rant. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> God, I know I can be dramatic, but this is driving me absolutely nuts. All right, I'm just gonna take some snow. I'm gonna rub it on my neck. Okay, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> is going to take that experience from here up to here. Secondly, most important for me with goggles is how they fit and feel on my face throughout the day. If something's uncomfortable for me, it kind of just puts me in a bad mood and there's no time for bad moods when you're out shrouping the pow. One thing that really helps with- Doing the what? Shrouping the pow? God, you know what? We like to make fun of Californians for how they talk, but Utah people have just as much weird stuff going on. Shrouping the pow? Also, <laughs> when something doesn't fit right, I'm not happy. I get a little fussy. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. That's such a weird thing to say. Ugh. God. Also, like, these I, before these goggles, I was here, and you know what? Now I'm here. <laughs> it's like, what? What does that have to do with anything? Ugh. God, I, I don't know this person. I'm sure they're like a good vlogger or whatever, or good skier. They look like a real skier, like I saw them on the chairlift. But this is like, so far, total nonsense. Um, they've only got three <laughs> minutes and a half and I've been reacting more. So let's, let's let them, <laughs> I keep saying we'll let them cook, but um, I feel like the only thing cooked is my brain right now. Goggles and how comfortable they are up against my face is the foam. As you can see, it's a high density foam and it's just really soft and comfortable up against the face. Another thing that really helps with having these goggles fit. The foam is comfortable against the face. Where else are you gonna put them? Oh, where else? <laughs> I would hope foam is comfortable on your face. That's how they've been making goggles for like the last 30 years. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> these goggles, huh? Look. Look what they're look what they're doing. These they, they got foam. Oh my gosh. G top tier. Top tier goggles. I can't see out of them because you know that like reflective lens blurred and <laughs> not like I've I don't know. I haven't been taking care of them since they kind of died, but yeah. Okay. The foam still works, I guess. I guess she's talking about comfort. That's not a fair argument. Okay, whatever, whatever. Up against your face is the design here of the frame. As you can see, this kind of pulls the strap out and allows the foam to sit snug up against your face, meaning you're not gonna have any airflow coming through on any weird gaps that you may have. On Shred's website, they talk a lot about VLT and that's visible light transmission. You can learn all about it on their site, but basically it's a really helpful way to find the right lens for the conditions that you're primarily riding in. If you have the wrong lens for the wrong condition, it's not gonna make your experience as great. So using their chart, it makes it really easy to find that perfect lens for your conditions. Okay, this skiing isn't terrible, but it's an awkward angle. Uh, it's not great, but the angle's making it worse. Yes, we heard about the VLT, the BLT, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Everybody has their little secret sauce. Oh yeah, these these are gonna, these lenses are gonna let you see your dead grandfather. Okay, we, we get it. <laughs> also shred, okay, whatever. Now, one thing that I like about the Simplify Plus is that they come with an extra lens for those especially flat light days. And this lens is more of a traditional way of changing the lens, but it pops out really easily. And then you can put your new lens or your other lens in. As far as being able to see out of the Simplify Plus, they offer- Oh Lord, let me tell you, first off, that is not very simple. As somebody who used to pop lenses off during races, it's not that simple actually. Getting it back into position is pretty tricky and you don't wanna do it outside like that. You get some moisture in there and then your goggles are, at least the early versions were fogged for like a week. Uh, next, she said, oh, you can swap them out. Isn't that good in case there's flat light? What was the BLT for? Isn't that, <laughs> that's supposed to eliminate the flat light? Uh, <laughs> who am I talking to? Six, six likes, three comments. What am I, what am I doing here? Shred, send me these goggles. This is, this is like nonsense. Whatever, whatever. I don't care if Shred sends me them or not. You know what, I'm gonna like find a pair on eBay or something. Shred, if you wanna send them to me, that would make it easier, but you know, I can do it quicker if you just send them to me. But if, if you really wanna go through this, I'll go on like Facebook Marketplace and I'll find some used ones, and then you go, oh, well those weren't new, so they're not, they're not as good. Well, you could've sent them to me. I sent you emails. I got like, I had to send like 10 emails and go through different like customer service loops just to talk to someone, but okay, okay. 
Oh God, okay, anyway. This is baloney. Just gonna say that. Like the baloney meter, you probably picked up on that from my reactions, but it's off the charts at this point. For a wide field of view, and as far as fit goes, I really like the way they fit my face. I would categorize my face as small to medium, and these are a really nice fit. Whether you're wearing them with just a hat or with a helmet, they fit great either way. As Okay, I can get behind the fit. They do fit really well. And historically, that's what I've really enjoyed about the Shred goggles as well. Don't wear them with a hat, okay? <laughs> I know she didn't say it for some reason, but don't, ski with a helmet. Don't ever, ski, I mean, I guess maybe you're sun tanning or something, working on your goggle tan, but if you're skiing, wear a helmet. This is, <laughs> that's like basics. <laughs> and I can't believe you'd say on camera, you know, talking about wearing a, hel a, a hat while you ski. Especially if you're new to skiing and riding, something that's really important to keep in mind when you're choosing goggles is how they're going to protect your eyes. That's obviously the main reason we wear goggles, that and for the purpose of not creating eye fatigue throughout the day. So keep in mind these lenses are 100% UVA, UVB, and UVC protection. So whether you're riding in bright sunny conditions or low light conditions, shred lenses are going to protect your eyes. If you have Okay, even like the low tier goggles mostly do that though. That I mean, that is good. That is an important thing. It's like sunscreen, right? You want to protect your body from the harmful uh, UV radiation of the sun. But <laughs> you could go to Costco and pick up a pair of like $30 goggles that would do the same. And these are like these end up usually like 200 something like that. What do these cost? Shred simplify goggles. Yeah, like these are $250. Yeah, they're $250. So, so yes, it's important, but it makes it sound like other goggles don't do it. Questions about the Simplify Plus, please leave them in the comments section below. We'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Adventure Rig. Again, if you guys would like to purchase the Simplify Plus or any other shred goggles, check out our link below and also be sure to check out Tyson's review of the Amazify goggles. Thanks again for watching. I'm Callie with Adventure Rig. She said that like twice in the video. Uh, I know that like you gotta make money somehow, but geez, you don't have to shove it down my throat. So, that was mostly nonsense. That was like Instagram marketing, but on YouTube, I don't know what to tell you. Shred goggles, historically, have been some of the most comfortable goggles I've ever had. They also do a really good job with their reflective lenses as far as like keeping sunlight from just hurting your eyes and making you squint. But over the years, I do feel like the quality has kind of become watered down. I guess I haven't tried them in like the last, oh God, I don't know, eight years or something. So I, I, I can't give them like a totally fair assessment. But you know, as you can see with these, they definitely broke down in a pretty gnarly way. And this review was total nonsense. She seems nice. I mean, it seems fine. I have no issue with her or her partner in particular. But this review was not a review. It was a sponsored video, right? I'm sure that's an affiliate link that takes me somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, she, If she's sponsored, I wish that she would disclose that. It seems heavily sponsored. My, you know, radar is going off. I guess I don't know. But that is just kind of my feel on it and my opinion. I don't have any evidence towards that, so I don't know, but I would guess that she may be sponsored. Oh God, I don't know. This whole thing was baloney. Uh, Shred is actually a really good brand, typically, but they, I don't know. They've kind of like lowered their quality. I saw an article recently talking about where they're made and they are made in Chinese shops. I don't know if they're the ethical or unethical ones. Typically, if they're ethical, the company will like promote that. It There was like a thing about them being on the ethical side, but I don't know, I don't know for sure. And I didn't see any like third party investigation that showed that the goggles were being ethically made. So uh, hard to say. Um, the quality, in my opinion, has definitely gone down over the years. Each more recent goggle I've gotten, I've been less and less impressed with. And the rest of the market has just kind of caught up with Shred and the styles and the lenses. 
Which is really unfortunate because I think Shred has something really interesting. I don't know Ted that well. He always seemed like he had some really cool design choices. But over time, there's just so many SKUs. You go on their website and there are so many different goggles, so many different designs. It used to just be four colors of one basic goggle. And I think that there was something really beautiful about having simple SKUs that really stood out with their color and appearance. So in my opinion, um, this was a bunch of nonsense. I didn't really get a feel for what made those goggles better other than the fit, which is subjective based on your face and head shape. So yeah, I don't know. I will try to review these if I can, but again, like I make very limited money with my ads and a lot of that goes to demoing skis. So if I have the budget available in the end of the winter or next summer or something, I will try to review these goggles, but I don't know. I just can't see anything that seems super thrilling. Um, if you guys have experience with your shred goggles, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear it. But as far as reacting to this video, I didn't. <laughs> I got no sense for the goggles. Um, anyway, that's just my opinion. If I find an affiliate link, I will leave it down below for you guys if you want to support the channel and you know you already love shred goggles. But for me, I can't recommend them. The last good pair I had was during the Obama administration. So <laughs> it's been a while, okay? <laughs> That's the end of my video. That's all I have to say about it so far. But all in all, that video was a bunch of nonsense. So anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. As always, that helps my channel. But more than anything, just thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I wouldn't be here without you guys. So that is not missed on me and I really appreciate everyone. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.